I had to fill a form in for the solicitor. Uh, she sent me a link. It was a text, a normal SMS text, right? So I clicked the link and it opened a, a, a thing, b bloody verific ID verification thing. If you've ever done it, you'll know you'll know exactly what I mean. So I went through this and it, well, it asked my name and then my, my date of birth. Oh, the date of birth, oh my God. The date of birth came up with a calendar, right, on my phone. And it listed a month. And the only thing you could do was go forwards or backwards. That was it. So I had to tap month by month back to 1966. <laughs> It took me nearly 40 minutes because my fingers were starting to hurt because it was bloody cold, you know. I did it and I pressed the set for the date and it came up it saying your session is timed out. Oh my God, did I hit the f***ing roof. I, I nearly smashed my phone up, sorry. See how cold it is in here? I did the solicitor thing, that's all online, it's all done, the flat's for sale, everything is moving now. Uh, there is, I can go back, I can still not do it if I want, but I don't, I don't want, I don't want to stop it. I've got to keep this going now and I've, I've got to keep it moving. I'm leaving on the 13th. My mate John's taking me, he said it's not a problem. I said, yeah, but I've got to leave here at eight o'clock in the morning sort of thing and because of traffic and getting there. And he said, it's not a problem. I've got to get the cases down the stairs. They're not going to be 30 kilo each. They'll probably be 20 at most. I can't believe the, the, the little I'm actually, I've actually got. <laughs> I've got another box. This is my box. Not your box, my box. Alright, in my box. Camera mount. How do you get into this? I've done a lot of research. A lot of research. And I mean a lot of research on, on camera mounts for crash helmets. Uh, this is specifically for mine. Now, I saw one that a few people are using, it's 3D printed. I don't know how they, they're charging about 70 quid for the bloody thing, but this one is ABS moulded moulded plastic. Chin mount. I hope this has got the extension in it. That's one piece. That's the mount itself, which is just double sided. It's just double sided. Is that the tether? Yeah, that's the tether that you tie around the camera and then stick that on your helmet as well. The one on your head. Oh yes, it's got the extension look. Excellent. What's in there? There's nothing else. No, that's it. Let's get this open. See, it's moulded in the right position, the right shape, the right everything for the helmet. Proper moulded ABS instead of 3D printed. So that goes on the helmet, something like that, there. And then you tie that to whatever, just in case that comes off. And that just slots into there, so it's, you can take it off. But the... Oh, I'm holding it. <laughs> the Action 4 has got a quick release on it anyway. So I'm going to put a quick release on there, so it's just two clips that you just undo. That thing nearly f killed me today. I got my old monitor on there, and I thought I'd take it off. And then I realised that the clamp... I was inside, wrapped around the main uh, wires. So I proceeded to take them off, and I wish I'd have filmed it. I'd, I cut, I managed to cut my finger. So I'm standing here, one-handed, trying to remove it. The main inlet wire come off that RCD on the right. Yeah, that one. Uh, the wires came out. I proceeded to put them back in, trying to do it with one hand because my my, my right hand it was pissing with blood. So I'm holding my hand like this, trying to do it with my left hand, and I got a belt off it. Oh my god, it was a right pisser. Um, and my immediate reaction was to put my hand on the wall. There was blood on the wall, so I tried to wipe it off, and that wouldn't come off. I had to repaint the f wall. <laughs> the living room. It's nearly perfect. No, I'm going to leave that. It shows that I'd go in here. Um, 
that's all done all shit out of it the spare room's got me stuff in it which is fine you know it's i can't put it nowhere i can't just evaporate it and then re re, re erate it so i've cleaned in here i've cleaned that front door today as well got rid of all the shit on it um I'm having macaroni cheese for it's near enough bloody supper time there but I haven't eaten today I didn't sleep last night at all I'm so stressed about everything on at the end of this month is the time that I can start to relax when I know that things are running properly this is how I have to make toast in the morning because some dickhead <laughs> I'm not saying who but some dickhead threw the toaster away the way we have to live, eh? <laughs> it's quite therapeutic, to be honest. Quite a lot. I quite enjoy this. So that pretty much wraps it up. Everything's working. I'm methodically going through all my cases, times over, rearranging things, putting things in different cases because of protection and stuff like that to make sure they don't get damaged. But everything's going pretty well. Jeff said to me, you want to go to Thailand? He said, it's a completely different world. People are so friendly, people are so happy, people are smiling. And he said, you won't believe it. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter how much I tell you. When you get there, you'll, you'll know what I mean. You'll, you'll see exactly what I mean. So I'm moving onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Oh, and somebody said in that video last week uh, that I posted, the unemployed one, I said, oh, if you're going to do some home videos, you need a lamp and you need some flowers and a green screen so people may, people can be more submersive in your home. <laughs> Tony was Thailand. One month to wait. Oh, I've got my scooter as well. Got everything sorted. Absolutely everything. And my accommodation, which I will share with you. I don't mind. The only trouble with accommodation over there is they don't have websites, they don't advertise, or very rarely, only the big corporate places do. They don't advertise, it's word of mouth. And somebody told me to have a look at this place. My scooter sorted, and that's all I need. For a few, a few days or a few weeks, I don't know about the scooter, until I get myself a motorbike that I can tour on. And I'm really thinking about the Forza still. I was looking at some others as well. I was looking at the Vulcan S, the Kawasaki Vulcan S, 650. But that's that's more of a cruiser. It's not a tourer sort of thing. It's not that comfortable, so I don't know. But I'll have a look when I'm over there, and I'll have a sit on them, see what I can sit, sit on, see what's comfortable. Get me massage done, get me therapy done and everything else. Um give it a couple of days and then I can go out and, and start hunting because I know I'll be all right. I know I'll be all right and no pain, no pain at all.